So one of my goals for 2021 is to save a little bit of money. So I saw this video on TikTok about 100 envelope a savings method. So I thought, hey, that's actually a neat way of uh, trying to save money, right? So why not try it? So the principle is you come up with 100 envelopes. So I have 100 envelopes here. You number all the uh, envelopes. So from one, like or from one all the way to 100, right? So what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to uh, pick two envelopes per week for 50 weeks of the year right we already lost two weeks <laughs> and then after those 50 weeks you would have saved about five thousand and fifty dollars so you just shuffle them so you randomly pick different envelopes so whatever envelope you pick uh that's what you're gonna put in those envelopes the amount right so let's say you pick what is this 86 right and then let's say you pick uh 13 right so you're going to put $13 in one envelope and then this one you're going to put $86 and then you put this aside for that week. So when I saw that video, it was done by a couple. So there were two people who was using that uh, method. So a couple, so one person will pick one envelope and then the person will pick envelope. And then they'll have those two envelopes for the week and put that amount according to what number they pick and save that amount for that week. But since I'm just by myself, I'm going to try to do this by myself. So I'm going to be picking the two envelopes myself each week and then putting that amount into those envelopes, whichever envelope I pick, right? And then put them away. So this whole stack by 50 weeks would have been, uh, have some money in it, right? So you, you put the money, then you seal it out and put it away. So for me, I'm going to be putting it, I'm recycling this uh, Christmas box. So I'm going to put all the envelopes in there when I, when I put money in them and then just close it off and hide it somewhere in my room so that no one gets to it. Since you don't know where I live, <laughs> you won't find it. <laughs> so then I'll put it away, right? So at the end of the year, I would have accumulated uh, the 5050 right? The only thing I was thinking that might be a challenge is when, uh, let's say one week I pick these big numbers, right? So let's say one week I pick the the hundred dollars right and then also pick the 99 <laughs> if that's random right so i was thinking like oh i might find times when i'm like oh that's a little bit too much to put away for one week that's almost like what 199 <laughs> right to put out a week right so since this is me doing it this is supposed to be for me to help me save money right so if that was to happen and if you're gonna be trying it too i would say why make it hard for yourself right so if it's gonna be a week where i'm like oh things are a little bit tight and i've picked up the big number i'll just reshuffle it again <laughs> I know it's a little bit cheating, but hey, at some point, they're all going to be filled, right? At some point, I'm going to be left with those uh, other numbers that they still need to be filled out, right? So, but if that week it's really, really tight and I feel like, oh, that's a little bit too much to put aside, then I will reshuffle it and hopefully I'll pick a little number, right? So that's how I'm going to go through all that, right? Because I know some people, if you have been thinking about doing this um, method, maybe the reason why you didn't go ahead, you were thinking of that too, to say, hey, what if I pick big numbers, the both big numbers and things are a little bit tight that way, how am I going to do that? And you probably just scratch this whole method saying, oh, this is not going to work because this is going to be, you know, too stressful or undoable. <laughs> well, especially when you pick those big numbers on those days, but hey. You could think of using that tip that I'm going to be using <laughs> and uh, reshuffle it and pick another number, right? Because I'm making up my own rules as well. But if you look at it in the big picture, right, at some point, all of them, they have to be filled. So if I was to choose uh, smaller numbers this week because things are a little bit tight, so the times when I have more room in my budget, I might actually shuffle and pick up those big numbers so that I get them out of the way, right? So let's say I play lottery and actually won like, I don't know, 100 bucks, right? So I'll put, <laughs> I'll put 100 bucks for one of the envelopes for that week because hey, it's extra money that I didn't even have before, right? So why not put it towards the savings? So I'll put it in that 100 envelope and then pick another number, right? And do that. That way I'm knocking off those big numbers when I do have that extra cash, right? So that's an idea that you could 
try as well if you're gonna do it so i hope you can try that and see and i always say you know what with all these things when you see them it sounds like a good idea right but don't be hit yourself too hard right don't be too hard on yourself if you can do it it's okay instead of picking up two envelopes why not try just doing a one envelope challenge right so instead of having hundreds you can do 50 envelopes so yes to saving right yes to saving yes to saving so you can do that so don't think that if you can do this hundred oh my gosh it's a fail already no you can even do that so if let's say touch wood i won't i don't know where touch wood <laughs> the wood oh yeah there is wood down there <laughs> if something was to happen and i'm sure to, uh i can't finish off the whole challenge i'll be okay with wherever i reach right if i had done like 20 weeks i'm okay with that so don't be too hard on yourself if you are to try this and things are not going well as planned the fact that you even tried and got to where you are it's a win so i hope you will be able to join me on this challenge and uh try it out for yourself to see if you can save a little bit of money this year so try out the 100 envelopes right so you you have 100 envelopes you write them all down each week you're picking two envelopes you put amount of the the amount you find in the envelope or the amount which is written on the envelope you put that amount and then put it away and then you just shuffle it right so it's almost like a deck of cards right so you just shuffle it around to mix them out right so that you pick up random numbers each time right so that's how you end up having all these different numbers so it's fun right so if you have to pick different numbers end up being so it's fun right because then you don't know what to expect what to do right for that week so for this week i've already picked up uh 20 and five dollars right so i'm gonna put out in my five dollars in to the envelope so i've got my five dollars here and put it into the envelope and also gonna do the twenty dollars here and put it in the envelope so that's my first week done there you go <laughs> so i'll keep you updated as i progress throughout the year to see how it's doing so i hope you'll be able to try it out for yourself and save some money and let me know how you're doing with that as well so for now, stay strong, stay positive, and continue building the business that you love. And I'll see you next time, guys. Take care, guys. Bye.